What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back. Today might be Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Guys, more fun, more horror from the MIB Master Toy Museum. You're on a Tuesday. Hanging out down here in the museum. Just having some fun, guys. Gonna grab a cup of coffee. But I want to share with you what I think is one of the coolest figures that NECA Toys has put out in quite some time. And they put out some fantastic action figures. But this is one of the coolest ones because it's one of, from one of my favorite movies as a kid. My Bloody Valentine. Movie came out in 1981. About a, a, a old, decades old legend of this murderer who would kill anybody that celebrated Valentine's Day. And naturally, some young, unexpecting people would put that theory or that legend to the test. Most of the action happens in the mine. That's why he's dressed like this, the miner. The mining uh, outfit, the iconic mining outfit. Uh, Harry Wharton is the name of the character. I guess that, that was the, the, the slasher in this movie. Played the miner. And NECA Toys really did a fantastic job. I'm sorry for all this. This is packing stuff. This is a a, a collector grade. Let me show you. It's still dusty from the inside. And I want to talk touch on that. This figure. Being a collector's grade figure from Big Bad Toy Store. So I paid a little bit more for this figure. Make sure that, you know, the everything is good. And that's all you're, you're paying for with collector grade is that the condition of the, the packaging, that it's not broke or dented or bent. That's all. So it's a few dollars more. And, you know, as an MIB collector, it's it's worth it for me um, that I don't have uh, crushed boxes and packaging and things of that, that nature. Can't help the static stuff, though. But... This this figure was released, I want to say a year or so ago, from Shout Factory. So this is the second release of this figure. And that, that first release from Shock, Shout, Shout Factory. And if I'm getting that name wrong, guys, let, let me know in the comment section. But I believe it's Shout Factory. Uh, it was a deluxe set. It came with a, a, a Blu-ray um, of, of the movie, disc of the movie. Uh, I believe some other uh, nice little items. And then it came with the boxed version of this figure. So he was. This is the the clamshell version of the miner. But you could have originally got him in the a box like this. But I missed out on that. I missed out on that. That that sold out very quickly. And NECA will re-release the same figure. Um, down the road a few years down the road if, if you know if i guess if it's a hit or it has a lot of public demand and believe me guys the public demand for the harry wharton aka the minor figure was extremely high this figure is absolutely positively beautiful gorgeous comes with all of his tools the, the this pickaxe the box of a uh, the, the uh, chocolate heart box which inside when opened there's a real heart in it as you can see he's got a heart in his hand card art is absolutely phenomenal There's look, there's a hand, right? A dismembered hand here inside this 
box of chocolates. Like I said, when I saw this figure from NECA, I saw pictures of it. I I I lost my mind. I said I have to get this this figure. This is one of the coolest movies too. One of the coolest movies. Just just fantastic. Guys, do you have this figure? Do you know about the Bloody Valentine 1981 horror movie? Slasher movie. Your thoughts, guys. We want to hear it all. Hanging out down here. Very cold day outside of the museum, but we're nice and toasty and warm here. And we're doing battle with the miner from My Bloody Valentine. I wonder who would win. Michael Myers or the miner. You can see he's got the on this beautiful mask here. He's got this, the uh, all the, the blood spatters here. The, you know the, the pickaxe. I thought it would have some blood on it. It'd been nice. That'd been a nice touch. I guess if if you're taking this guy out and you want to, a lot of customizers going to probably add some some blood to that. But um, I like the wear and tear of the the pickaxe. The wood part here it shows the the age. He's come with all of his equipment that you know you would need working down in a mine. Breathing apparatus. He's got the light here. Would have been a nice touch though. That I'm sure that be very expensive. This figure is expensive enough by itself, and we know NECA figures are very expensive. But if this light right here on top of his helmet would work, how cool would that be? I'm sh I'm sure a customizer is going to uh, do that. The legendary Harry Miner, uh, Harry Warden, A.K.A. the Miner. Nice little pockets here. Those coveralls, blue coveralls, boots. You can see. The feet got the joint balls in them. You can, uh, they're extremely um, flexible, making it very easy for him to stand. Put him in any position you want. Now, this was a movie that was really popular coming out of all uh, <laughs> of all holidays, Valentine's Day. You know, that's I I remember as a kid. You know, every Valentine's Day on Friday night. This, the horror movie was My Bloody Valentine. Just so much d detail in the, the belt here, the the holes here. I like the fact that this is the the, the goggles are blacked out. You couldn't see them. I'm going to turn this figure around. What you see in the, the back of it. I got the... See, it's got a lot of stuff on it. Get you a blown out look here. Great. These are great shots. Of the actual figure, actually. So this is not from the movie. This is These are shots from the actual fi uh, figure. There's the My Bloody Valentine. A decades-old folk tale surrounding a deranged murderer killing those who celebrate Valentine's Day. Turns out to be true to legend when a group defies the killer's orders order and people start turning up dead and this is all you get includes a pick pickaxe nail gun knife and candy heart
fantastic. This guy back around. And like I said, this was released, um, I want to say a year or so ago from Shout Factory, maybe a little longer than that. But it was a smash hit. And I'm sure a lot of collectors by now have this guy. But I'm curious if there's any difference. In the figure itself which i doubt but if there is i want to hear it in the comment section guys right underneath this video um on a scale to one to ten this figure is an 11 or 12. it's off the charts it's absolutely positively worth adding to your your horror collection for all you horror people out there this is the figure you want to have in your collection if you don't have it already there's the nail gun right here you know the uh, collectors love the uh, close-ups but we want to get some some wide shots for you as well. Your thoughts, your opinions, we want to hear it all. NECA is just hitting home run after home run after Grand Slam with these with these horror figures. The licensing is that NECA's able to, to obtain is staggering. And, and, and that that's just, it's so tough. Would I like to see Mego do a, a, a Harry Warden figure? Uh, absolutely. Um, is it possible for them to get the licensing rights? I don't know. They've gotten a lot of licensing rights uh, as of late, though. So I wouldn't rule it out. But NECA's at another level right now. They're just, they're just, like I said, they're just hitting home runs with these figures. Like I said, the attention to detail is just off the charts. And this figure uh, has easily, easily become one of my favorites in my museum collection. And our Harry Wharton, a.k.a. the minor figure from My Bloody Valentine, is here on display forever. Safely tucked away, mint on card in his clamshell for your viewing pleasure. Guys, more fun on the way. You know the routine. God bless. Stay safe. Stay out of the mines. And keep collecting.